Hey there, I'm MJ Haggis and this is my Let's Play of SnowRunner. We, having seen the Lodestar just in the last episode, I thought I'd bring him back out for a try again. Highly underrated, so I thought no point in leaving him in the garage, let's bring him out and stick him up a hill. And that's what we're going to do, he is kitted out with the chains, he didn't have that before, but he's pretty much ready to go. He has got some stuff in the back, should we need it, but on the map, we are going to go up. We're going to see what this involves to support the meteorologists and then we're going to try and activate this flood aftermath one, wherever that's down there. And we're going to jump into the Pacific P12 and come down the hill to activate that one. And then the third one, I thought we'd try and get up to towage at height. And we still have the wee uh, step pike SE at the trailer store, so I thought maybe we would just send the truck itself and try and get up there. Never been up there, and the final one I think we'll maybe try and get to, all going well, is Lost on lost in Route, and activate that one. How oh, we've managed to miss that one and not activate, I have no idea, but anyway, that's the four we're going to try and get activated, and then in the subsequent episodes we'll try and complete them. Sun is definitely coming up, let's go and Find the first one. Right. I'm not fully sure of the route, so we'll get close and then we'll, we'll bring up the map and we'll see if we can figure out the actual route in. I've got a rough idea. Again, this is a nice truck where you don't have to worry about the all-wheel drive or the diff lock. You just need to drive it. Now, is it left here and then up the hill? Let's open up the map now. See, I thought there might have been a route there, and there may well be. But I was also thinking, see that little turning circuit? does kind of imply there might be something through here. So that's at the back of there. And I don't see, there's a lot of rocks here going up this hill, and I don't know if we'll get over that. Why don't we just head to this bit and have a look at the back of this building, what's left of it, and see if there's a way up. So it's not there, it's up here we're going. Somehow we've got to get up that hill. Any sort of tracks leading up the hill here? Not really. Yeah, that's that's crazy steep. Maybe up ahead, but I can't imagine that's the route. So let's back it out of there. And we'll carry on along to the other place, and I need to set some waypoints for that now as well. So it's here somewhere. That should see it up, if that's the actual route. Lost the other side of me, but a wee bit less muddy. See, there's a road in there. How far away is That's 35 to that waypoint. This looks like it could be it. Clearly not very well marked on the uh, on the map. However, let's just see where this goes. It leads to the back of this place here a lot. Bit. Oh no, it is going around the corner, right? Okay. Tricky we start with that camber of the hill. 
But the tracks are definitely leading in the right direction now. Go left, just keep some tires on some dryish ground. That's pretty straightforward. Okay, now it's getting steep. I'm glad I put the chains on because this is where you do need them. Go on, son. Go on. What a beast. All the wee scouts seem to be way more capable than I give them credit for. I mean, that was an absolute doddle. And the road leads off that way. Where are we going? We're going in here, I think. That's us. Yeah, that's us here already. We just cut off. Oh no, the road goes round that rock. Let's, let's continue, see how bad it is. Nasty snow at the beginning there, but this looks worse, but is it worse? Nope. Good. All good. Right, now we've figured out the proper route. That's going to make whatever this is a lot easier. Another weather station of sorts. Show the task. Oh, you're right on time. We have ordered some spare parts for our equipment. And it was shipped down there. Will you help us get it up here? Okay. Service spare parts delivered up here. Ah, oh, typical. Okay. That's the drop-off point. Where are they coming from? Oh, a truck with a crane is recommended. Ah, from back down there. Oh, okay. Okay. Just one lot of service spare parts. That's a that's a very small load. Right. Okay, that's fine. We've activated it. Let's get this guy out the way. I'll probably bring him down again in my own time. No point in seeing that again because it was fairly straightforward. So engine off, handbrake on. We'll leave him here so he can go and get a cup of tea with the guys. Yeah, okay, very nice. Imagine if those trees weren't there at the front, that view would be epic. Anyway, right, next task. I said we'd maybe jump into the Pacific, didn't I? So, we're going to go down. Let's jump into it first of all. There we go. He is good to go. And there's another fuel trail. I'm going to have to get back down the hill. Didn't need that. But better to be um, prepared. So, we're going to carry on and go down. Here is it. Possibly, yeah, and then along the here and down. All the way back. So there's another trailer. Oh, I've got trailers all over the place. And we're coming into here. Okay, that's a little bit of a long way for a shortcut, but always fun driving these big trucks. This should be fairly easy with no trailer. And I would have taken that that one there back, but this has got the high saddle for, a, I believe, a job we did quite a few episodes back. So there's nothing I can do with this guy except for drop him off. I actually meant to return this to the garage oh, quite some time ago, but just never got around to it. At least we're getting to put him to use before we return him. Without a trailer on or anything like that, his, his size there is not really very well depicted. He is massive! 
Look at my little guy in the cab there. This thing's... You need a stepladder just to get up into it. I mean, you literally do need a stepladder. There's one there at the side. Are we going down here? Yes, we are. Okay. Oh, camera's in the cliff. Nice and easy. Straight down. I think that was, that was fairly easy. I dare say there's some players that have just chucked their vehicles off the cliffs and gone, hey, right, see what happens. But I'm not going to do that. I'm for the realism. Oh, we, you know, we could have gone down through there, and we did before, because that's where the cabins are. But we'll just carry on, it's not that much further to go this way. Just enjoy the drive. And no pressure of getting anything delivered. Whoa, there it is. There's a wee bit slippy. Down we go. Taking all the rocks with me too. Get off. Using a landslide. Go down and we are good. Going to automating a bit quicker. Find out. We tend to bog down though. the cabins, there's my trailer. I think that's been there since, probably since we first got to this map the second time. I like you occasionally get the sound of the pneumatics venting off. This is a very similar truck to the, is it the P512. I just thought this was better because it had, I can't remember which one, but it had both all-wheel drive and diff lock, whereas the other one has one or the other. Over here. What are you all about? So, flood aftermath. The recent flood washed my crates of spare parts down the stream. Help me recover them and I will pay you back. Not bad. I'll accept that one. Where are these? Close that. Look at the map. Flood aftermath. Uh, oh, oh, downstream. That's How did they get up there then? The one there. Oh, that's the other one. See? This is clearly a case of, this is not for the, the other task, but it takes me to those service spare parts. These are the two that we're after. Ah, yeah, they can, I can see why they'll be washed downstream. Okay. Okay. Can't remember the actual... Oh, there's a crossing there. Okay. That might be the only way. This might be very deep either side. And it's just putting them here just to tempt you to try and cross there. Hmm. Okay, need to think about that one. Okay, all good. I might bring out... I could bring out the Kiki Morph, couldn't I? That's got a three-slot bed. Do that one, drop it off, come back down and round and pick up these two then. 
and then somehow cross, and it's got a good high snorkel. And uh, yeah, okay, we're getting a plan together. Uh, better put the engine off for this guy, let's get him out of the way as well. I'm going to get this one also with the load start back to the garage in my own time. Let's just stick him up onto the banking here, leave room in the road. So, engine is off and the handbrake is on. Next one, how are we doing time? Ah, oh, we're rocking through these. Hi KSC, let's see what you can do. You are fully fit and healthy to go, and we need a route though. Having never been up to the towage at height area, I'm going to guess we go as if we were going past all of these places and towards the gateway. And then kind of skirt past the gateway. Now there doesn't appear to be any way up this side of the hill, so it has to be past the gateway. And there's some tracks possibly there. And maybe thread your way through the trees. Up and round. Okay, that's what we're going to do. We're going to head for the gateway. Yep, that looks like a good enough plan for me. And off we go. This is one where I should have possibly taken a little two-slot trailer up just in case it's a pickup because we've got the crane. I don't know what's involved. It'll be a surprise. Well, it'll be a surprise for me. You guys might know. It gives me an opportunity yet again to drive with a truck with no trailer. Go on. Just driving, trying to keep the wheels out of the, the wheel ruts that have been formed. It reminds me of if you've ever played the, the more original, the Mud Runner. Whereas you always seem to try and get out of the mud because you quickly bogged down. That was a great game as well. Very basic, but it certainly reduced this gem. The feeling that a game has given you where the physics of the ground really played a massive part in how you played the game, I thought was just ingenious. I don't think we've ever been to the gateway from this side. I mean, it seems a little bit strange that they've given you a gateway that you're not really needing to use. This is a strange old road. I should cut down there. Oh man, I'm getting right into rocky territory here. Um, it certainly implied that the road was here. <laughs> right, I'm going to back up and go down there. Go on. I'm going to have to use a winch. normally get off the main route and you don't put like super snow in the way. There we go, we're off. There's a gateway. Now the question is, can we go right the way through to the next place? There's tracks going off there. Oh, that's closed. I bet you can't break through that. Nope, definitely not. Okay. 
Do we go around? Let's go around. There's tracks seemingly off to the right. Oh no, that's getting awfully narrow in there. That's a no. Okay. Interesting. That's not what I expected at all. I want to get off the wall. Hmm. This has been trickier than I thought it was going to be. Right, quick look at the map again. Let's get the engine off. So it's not up here. Okay, round the snow and up the hill there. That could be a possibility. Okay, we'll give it a go. I just thought the tracks here led down to what would have been the lake. Let's not break through the ice if possible. Well, there's more tracks, this is promising. You like an adventure. Into the unknown. See if we get to the top and it tells us to bring up something from where we've just come from that will be frustrating okay there's another road down there the one up there definitely not clear on the map that they exist we've been up into this part of the map at all. Oh, what? There's no danger we're going up there. Okay, the tracks lead to the right. Let's follow them. Oh. This takes me back to the towards the gateway. I'll not be impressed, but I can't see why it would. Now we're veering around to the left, so that's promising. Super snow's kicking in. That's not really super snow, it's just nasty snow. I hope I'm not hauling a truck up here. Definitely going in the right direction. Definitely feel like you're right out in the wilderness now. Go on. Go on, little pike. Pull your way through. Probably better to have stuck to the main road there, actually, because that's... that's nasty. Okay, we're starting to climb. Maybe we're getting close. I'm just following my nose, because I don't think we need to look at the map. There's an... I see. Maybe... Maybe that was the official route, but they've had that many landslides, that's closed it off. Yeah, that makes sense. Turning into a story now.
Okay, getting a little bit more dodgy up here, though. Well, that is asking to be tipped over. Okay, so let's just preemptively put out a, a winch. Good. I'm gonna get caught out by that. Oh no. Takes a lot less than that to catch me out. I feel like I'm at the top of the mountain now. Do you know what I just, I wanna well, let's have a look over the top of the hill. I wanna see if that is the peak out falling off the top oh yeah that is epic is that the sawmill down the bottom there you could just sit and look at that view forever if it was real Nice hot flask of coffee or something else, whatever you fancy. Right, let's go and find this place. I feel like we are close. Yes, it's looking a bit more like civilization of some sort here. Oh, there's a truck. There's a truck. What's this all about? Towage a height. My car recently broke down and my friend Joe just happens to know how to fix it. Will you help tow it there? Oh! Let's tow it down the hill. Deliver to Uncle Joe's shack. 1CK1500. Where's that then? Uncle Joe! Where's Uncle Joe? Oh, Uncle Joe's checked back at the trailer store. Ah. Well, I did say about going back where I came from, but the fact that we've got to go back there anyway does make it a whole lot easier. Looks like it's got all its tires inflated, so that's a good start. Suspension may be working. A wee bit low at the back, but high at the front, but that might just be... The way it is, let's, we've got repair parts. Oh, sorry, but wrong one. Let's see if it needs repair. Oh, it's, it's, it's had better days. All in all, 234 repair parts. We've got 200. <laughs> we could do a fair bit of fixing for Uncle Joe. Has it got fuel? What's that? Refuel. 40, half a tank. Okay. Let's get turned because I'm going to call it an episode, but that's what we're going to do at the beginning of the next one, I think. The fourth contra uh, task, um, which was... That's definitely off. Didn't quite have time to go and activate Lost on Route. But we'll do that very soon. And that's... We're getting there. Aid by the neighbour, towed your height... Or aftermath support yep so that's the only one we haven't really seen great sun setting i might take myself back up to that hill for the epic sunset and i'll bring you back in the morning guys thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed it but you will see me again soon bye for now